Hello everyone, this is Anton and in today's video I want to expand on live preview. Uh, the, the developer gods were, I guess, against me. I recently released a video on live preview and because the developers are fast at work on Obsidian, they've made some changes um, for the, you know, betterment of the, the actual application. And making some things a little bit more default and, and baking some things in. So I want to get into those changes. Let's go into one. Let, let's take a look at one of these files here. So this file here is when I open it up. We can see by default that live pre preview is enabled. Um, I did not go in and enable live preview like I did before. Before you had to come into the options here. Click editor. And then scroll all the way down to the bottom and it showed you that this was an experimental thing and you would have to enable it. You can see here that in this options pane that is gone. What they've done now is now they have under general here we can see this default editing mode. It shows as live preview. So live preview is currently configured to be the default editing mode. Uh, a good thing here though is that we can change this so we can do source mode and this will change it so that you can start by default to see the the raw markdown of the file so if we click out of here we can see that one this is still in live preview what gives well what gives is that I'm not sure if this is a bug or not but once the file is open the setting for how the preview is done it it sticks even though you change the settings and the options there so you have to close the file then basically open it back up and we can see here now that you know i reopened that file after closing it the raw markdown shows in, into the file so same thing happens on the reverse so if we go back in and we change it back to live preview this file still stays with the raw formatting or source mode as they're calling it and if we go back in now we can see that the file shows with live preview again so this is a short video but I thought it was worthwhile providing an update being that I just recently created another video about live preview and how it works and you know some things have changed a bit significantly from the previous video hope you liked the video if you did go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel and until the next time have a nice day